cuties if you're new it's your girl daisy if you're returning thank you you know i love y'all so today i have a synthetic slate for you guys it's an empress lace wig and her name is trissa so if you're interested in seeing how i style this wig and also review on this wig then make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to show your girl some support and give me a thumbs up because you know i appreciate it and also hit that subscribe button below Today's unit is an Empress Lace wig. This is a wig called Trissa. And I really like this wig, it's really cute. It attracted me with this green color, but I'm like, okay, that green color looks cute. So I know it would look cute in a black color. But I wanted to show you guys a close up of that deep part. And it comes with two combs in the front, as well as one in the back and two adjustable straps. And I'm just giving you guys a close up of that part in space. I was doing my best because I really wanted you to see that they really pre-plucked that. So far, this wig is looking really cute. The only thing is I do have to lay this part so it stays a little bit flatter. And I'm just gonna put like a little scoop of baby hairs right here just so it looks more natural. And, oh, some pressed powder. But I really love this deep parting space. Like, look at it. It looks really natural. You don't even have to put any powder in there. But just to match my skin tone, I'm gonna do so. I'm just gonna pluck this a little bit. Plucking. I'm just gonna take a little bit of eco gel and place it on my self made baby hairs. All right, so we got my little baby hairs laid. I'm gonna take some of my wrapping mousse. You guys ask me what brand this is. It says Moisturizing Wrapping Lotion B, BB. I believe that's the brand, BB. <laughs> so I'm gonna take some of my BB foam wrapping lotion. Just put it on this parting space. It's gonna help it lay really flat. And get the back, don't forget the back too, so we don't have no humps. I kind of just want to play with the wig to it just looks right and I'm gonna take my curling wand it's on like the lowest setting and this hair does take heat so we good last but not least I'm just taking some of my pressed powder and I'm just placing that in the parting space just to give it a more natural look Here's a little pamphlet that came with the wig. It's the Empress Lace wig. It's Trista. It has a natural center part. Um, they weren't lying because uh, look at this. It's bomb and it's really deep. So I like that. It's like, it reminds me like a 13 by six parting space. Um, 
Well, maybe 13, because I don't know. Can you do a free part? I don't know if you can do a free part. Let's see, because I never even checked. Nope. What I did forget is this wig has mad inches, and you know Daisy likes inches, so let me show you guys the back. It's really cute, and this is how long the hair is. It goes down to almost pretty much my waist, and I'm tall, I'm 5'7". So this wig is safe to put heat on it. I did put heat on the parting space just to lay it a little bit as you guys may have seen. I really do like that these curls are absolutely bomb. I got it in the color 1B. That is like a natural color for me. I like it on me. It's not too brown, but it's not too black. So what I like about this wig is it comes in a variety of colors and here they are right here. You can get you a blonde wig, purple, green, whatever. See, sister right here is rocking this green. It was actually kind of cute. I thought about getting it, but I really wanted like a black wig and it, especially synthetic is really natural and synthetic curls are usually bomb because the hair is like usually halfway stiff. So the curls just stay intact. It's not like human hair wig where you curl in and the curls drop. So that's the good part. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I do not mess with these wigs. I just pop it on. I did pluck a little bit of uh, the parting space. Well, over here where the baby hair is, just to make it look more natural. As you can see, here's a little close up. And I didn't put anything in this hair. I just kind of like loosened up the curls. You just go like this and just slip. It's easy. Now, one thing I will say is I think this wig is gonna be shedding. This is my first time wearing it, but closer to the curls, it's a little stiff, but it's, it's okay. Like this wig is mad affordable. I think it was only like $23. I'm gonna have the exact price and where you can get this wig in the description box. So if you're interested in purchasing it, but I would not mess with this wig at all. Like, trust me, I would do a little bit of baby hairs if you want, but you don't have to do that. Usually people don't like to do that, but I do. Um, but just, you know, wear the wig, see how it is. If you guys are interested in seeing an update, like how long it lasts, just let me know. Um, I think I am gonna be wearing this wig for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to wear it for a while. I usually try to wear my synthetic wigs on the weekend. During the week, I just wear my curly wigs. Those are, that's just me. I wear those to work, that's just Daisy all day. <laughs> but if you guys are really interested in a review, let me know and I would definitely put this wig to more use and I'll just do a longer wear test. So shedding, let's see, boom. It does shed a little bit. See, this is the hair that came out from, it was like, this is two. Two pulls of the hair on each side. A little bit came out and it does tangle a little bit, but it's cute. I mean, the synthetic is a couple dollars. Really what I would do, I wouldn't, like, I don't understand why people want to see, want to wear synthetic wigs so long. Like, I don't even wear human hair that long. Even before I started doing YouTube. Like, I wore hair for about a month. I put some bundles in, got a sew in. Then the next month, it's time for a new fresh pack. But with the synthetic wig, I really wouldn't wear it longer than two weeks to a month. Now, to get the most wear out of these wigs, just take it off at night, put it to the side, don't brush it. I know it sounds crazy, but don't brush it. When it gets a little dry, just put you a little olive oil in and then loosen up the curls and it will also detangle the hair. So keep that in mind if you're looking to, you know, wear a synthetic wig on a regular basis. But overall, I do love this hair. It's so bomb, so cute, like, can't complain. Don't forget, like I said, I'm gonna have the information in the description box if you guys are interested in getting this wig. And I got it from Ebony Line. So I work really close with them. They send me all my synthetic wigs that pop in. And even before I did YouTube, I used to purchase from them. So it's like really a dream come true. Like, oh, I'm getting the hair I always wanted. <laughs> so um, if you spend like $30, I believe they only have $5 flat rate shipping and you'll get your hair within a week. So trust me, they are very fast. They just like, um, they're better than like U US, do they use USPS? I don't know, but all I know is I can my wig within a week. And I always get them like two to four days, but I always say a week just to be safe. Cause I don't want to say three, four days and y'all be like, uh, it's the fifth day. I got my wig on the fifth day. So a week. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show your girls some support. You know I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, come on, join the fam and hit that subscribe button below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day.